I also have a poop story. <laughs> so I want to thank Ted for spearheading the poop story genre. <laughs> so it was late at night. Um, I'm at school, and uh, I'm studying hard for a test that's coming up. And all of a sudden, I start feeling gassy around here. And it's a very quiet library. And I'm afraid I'm going to let something happen. So I'm like, i got to take care of this right now. We're going to go to the bathroom. It's right outside. And we're going to go in. And I go into the bathroom, and ideal conditions. We have a row of uh, urinals, empty. Four stalls, empty. I get to choose my favorite one. And I sit down, I go, I come in, I, uh, I make my little nest, and uh, <laughs> I, I find myself situated nicely. Um, all of a sudden, as I take a breath in, I take a breath out, and as I'm, allowed, um, as I'm about to let the troops fly, the door opens. And I'm like, okay, okay, I can wait this one out. I have a phone. And this guy walks past the urinals, I'm, like, I'm thinking he's going to pee, but he walks past the urinals, and he sits down right next to me. And I hear him, you know, make his little nest, take his little seat, and it's quiet. 10 seconds go by, it's quiet. 30 seconds go by, it's quiet. And I realize we're doing the exact same thing. We are, we are waiting each other out. And he, and he has the right of way because he thinks I could have been here, in here for like who knows how long? I could have been reading which I was. Um, so I'm like, okay, I know how the cards lay. I'm going to be the bigger man. Um, I'm going to go for it. And uh, you know, I, I take a breath. I relax. I do a little push. And just as I cross the Rubicon, I realize that this is not going to be a substantial, impressive poop. This is going to be a little pebbly pitter platter. <laughs> and, and, but I can't stop, so I, I you know, I, I stop as soon as I can, but a little plip, 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 plop, 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 and it is like, uh, you know, you just hear it reverberating off the tile walls, and I know he heard it, and I get nothing from it. And so I'm, I'm sitting there, you know, sort of folded over myself, being like, what if, uh, how do I, what am I going to do? Um, and time goes by, and the worst, I'm thinking about the situation, bird's eye view, and the worst thing that can possibly happen, happen, I start laughing. <laughs> I start this chuckle, that's this vicious chuckle, because it grows and grows and grows upon itself. And I, I, I take a breath, I come and go, no movement from this guy, no sign of life. Maybe like a, an uncomfortable shift of his, of his feet. And I'm like, what the hell did I put this guy through? And I think, I gotta say something to him. I, I go, I go, uh, pooping is, is weird, isn't it? <laughs> I, I go, no, another, another uncomfortable shift, and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get out of I, um, I, I, you know, I, I, I do what I need to do to, to end the story there. I get up, go to wash my hands, nothing. No response. And I, as I go to use one of those like overpowered uh, like blow dryers for the hands, um, I, I do it, it goes on, and I just hear this colossal like, gee! <laughs> she just wants to get out of there too. Um, so <laughs> I'm never going to talk to anyone again. Anyone I told this story to was like, why, why would you talk to anyone? <laughs> um, but that's how I tried to self-extricate myself out of a Thank <laughs> you.